I've decided to do a follow-up of the rap game. Y'all probably seen my first review. And I haven't been doing a review on this show every review because it, this season wasn't like the last season where he was um letting somebody go basically like every round or whatnot. They just be going from, from round one through five back and forth, back and forth, and he ain't really eliminated anybody yet. The biggest thing on this show that I found to be a problem is Ricky Bitty's dad. He writes for her. His writing is shit. She needs somebody either to write her own lyrics or somebody else to write for her. Um, he got her so brainwashed uh, and forcing her to do what he say, how he say that she can't do what Jermaine is asking her to do because of him. He is her downfall. He is her, her problem. In order for her to succeed, if she just wants to do this and do better, she would need a new manager and get rid of her dad because that's what's messing her up. As far as everybody else from Jordan to, uh, let's see. Street Bud is good. Bree. Rapunzel. Everybody is good. Jordan has an attitude, but it's getting a little better. He's getting a little humble. They did their little makeovers this episode. Um, Street Bud was offended because everybody was going to cut hair. Look, everybody in the world got cut. A lot of people in the world got color hair. Um, for a lot, a lot of them, that's all. The only choice you had was to put a little color in your hair. Now, I think Jermaine was wrong last season when he wanted uh. What's the little girl name? Had the the little blonde girl had the long hair down her to her waist. I don't, I can give two damns. I done had this hair all my life. It's down to my butt. I'm not gonna cut my hair for no for the rap game. Her hair is who she was. You want to change who she is to be who you want her to be. I think that's BS. You you trying to form them into who you want, not who they are. And then, but your mouth say, oh, be who you are. I want to see who you are. But then you, you said, well, you, you didn't cut your hair and when I told you to be different. No, that you told, you told him to be who I want you to be. That's not. <laughs> That shall be full of, this shall be full of shit. That's why I don't be doing a review because I don't agree with everything that J Jermaine says and does because it's, it's some BS. Like, my kids couldn't be left alone with him. I said that before because he don't know nothing about kids and he don't know nothing about women and they would not be left with him. My daughter would not be left in his care and, or nothing because he, he don't know he's not capable. Career-wise, yes, but emotionally and as response being responsible for me, oh not gonna happen anyway moving on but the kids have been doing good they all have been doing getting better at what they do uh ricky bitty messed up the thing with uh the beatboxing because she didn't follow his son's directions that she told to but anyway it's just pretty well it's different like i said it's different this season so but yeah, the show has still been pretty good. I still watch it after Bring It. Um, like I said, I just want to do a follow up because I, you know, somebody mentioned to me on Snapchat that I hadn't did a follow up on it. And it's because I don't. I try to. I try to leave kids off limits. I don't like to say bad things about kids, so that's why I just, you know, yep. But anyway, I thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and share. And tell me what you think about the, the mommy jurors on here and the daddy jurors on here and the, the whole management of each um, kid on here. Because I think that's their downfall. Like Rapunzel's um, mom or whatever she is, she needs to shut her damn mouth. Rapunzel can't do her rap for her mom finishing it. She needs to fall back. Either she going to be the rapper or Rapunzel is. She needs to keep her mouth closed. But anyway, I see y'all in the next video. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.